This is Seven National News, and in our top story, the Dubai Government Media Office has released the English version of the book Spirit of the Union. As narrated by the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, in a unique lecture he delivered last December on the occasion of the UAE's 40th National Day. The English version of Spirit of the Union book presents a valuable in-depth view into the historical narration by Sheikh Mohammed, who stood witness to pivotal junctures on the path to realizing the dream state some 40 years ago. Sheikh Mohammed's testimony authenticates and corrects important historical facts and sheds light on undocumented details, as well as challenges that stood in the way of establishing the union. Additionally, the Dubai Media Office announced in a tweet earlier today the launch of the UAE Vice President and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's official YouTube channel. It stated that this is the first interactive channel for a prominent Arab leader. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, graced the graduation ceremony of the 22nd batch of cadet officers. The event, held at the police college in the capital, also saw the graduation of the 22nd course of university graduates and the 6th course of female university graduates. With the number of public transport passengers surpassing 346.5 million in 2011, companies were honoured for their contribution towards a greener economy at a ceremony at the RTA's Dubai Award for, Subs- for Sustainable Transport held this morning. Under the patronage and in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, with the aim of motivating the public and private sectors to curb traffic congestion and conserve the environment within the region, the ceremony shines a light on the efforts of Dubai to preserve natural wealth. Preservation is executed by applying the principles of creating a sustainable development and considering it a key element that impacts the future and welfare of mankind. Dr. Nada Anid, the Dean of New York Institute of Technology School of Engineering, stressed how significant it is to create awareness within schools. You have to do to have to implement and, and institute educational programs from the primary school up to the uh, university level and training in in green programs. That's why I mentioned you, today we had an award ceremony, so we could have the same in uh, in in our uh, schools. With over 93 submissions, this is a strong indication of the cooperation of the public and private sectors and their interest to make a positive impact in the community. The five categories highlighted mobility management, transport safety, special needs, among others. Of the winners were TNT Express, ETA Ascon, Emirates MBD and the Centre for Waste Management Abu Dhabi. This today is, I think, testament to their hard work testament to all of the employees that have done what they've had to do in order to get to this standard Um, but most importantly it provides momentum I think this will be uh, a reboot if you like and uh, a very positive uh, positive way of I think enforcing the message on a more sustainable basis so we're very pleased to receive it so far the achievements have been good and uh, we never want to stop on this we are ready to share our concept of the success to the entire society of uae uh, and uh, to everyone who really want this information from us and uh, we would like to expand the similar concept to other operating countries where eta is, has its presence like uh, saudi arabia qatar and soon in india as well Dubai Municipality launched My Environment, My City Today, an initiative that aims to encourage residents in contributing to Dubai's cleanliness and complement various environment initiatives. His Excellency Engineer Hussein Nasser Luta, the Director General of the Dubai Municipality, spearheaded the launch. According to Dubai Municipality officials, a total of 2.8 kilos of waste per capita is collected on a daily basis. With much waste generated, they say segregating from the source will help further address issues affecting the environment. Currently in its experimental phase, the service will be provided to three communities initially for a year. 
three of the 3,700 households in Mizar 1 and 2, as well as Nad Al Hama will receive two rubbish bins each, one for general waste and another for recyclable waste. A multilingual awareness campaign is also being conducted to educate residents as officials aim to encourage a habit of waste segregation and recycling in Dubai. It's door-to-door -door service like uh, removing the waste from the houses. Before it was a common bin, we removed that, so we thought we improved the service and do it from the home. Uh, other than that, we're going to benefit the environment, so we're going to segregate from the source. Uh, actually, the waste per day is quite high in Dubai, so we thought uh, we should do a start segregation, as we have now started to do our master plan for 2030. The main target in the master plan is reduce the waste, recycle, and zero waste to the landfill. We have recruited uh, some students and teachers from different colleges and schools to help us in the campaign. And uh, we are providing you know, two types of beans of 240 liter each, which is more than enough for one household of 6% to 8% to collect general waste daily and recyclable waste alternate day. If there is any extra bulk items like sofa set, carpet, bed, bunks, whatever it is, just they have to call us 800-900. The move to link up Emirates IDs with visas will be imposed in Dubai on April the 1st, according to a statement released by the Emirates National Identity Authority. Ida stated that applicants will not receive their cards until residence visas have been issued or renewed. It added that the link-up has been enforced in all Emirates except Dubai so far and is being implemented in coordination with the Residents and Immigration Department in the Emirates. And finally this evening, on the occasion of Valentine's Day, love is certainly in the air. Yahoo Makti Research has conducted a survey across the MENA region among lovebirds. With positive feedback from internet users, men and women were quick to submit their answers. The objective was to find out how couples spoil their partners on this romantic day. The results indicate that the most popular gift on Valentine's Day, especially among male respondents, is flowers at 43%. Perfume and cologne in second place at 37% and chocolates come third at 26%. However, the majority of participants do not limit themselves to one gift, but rather combine gifts together, averaging three, costing an average of 230 US dollars per person. Meanwhile, Almost Main, a duck tack performance scheduled to kick off tonight, is based on the lives of eight different married couples and how they choose to spend an evening together. Tiffany Schultz, a woman of several talents, has an interesting story of how she met her husband in the theatre. He and I met here at Duck Tech. In fact, we met just upstairs in one of the rehearsal rooms uh, five years ago now, I think. Uh, we, I, he was directing a play and I came to audition for the play. Uh, and um, I didn't get the part. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I worked backstage with him there. And uh, ever since then, I've been doing that, basically working backstage with him. Uh, we run Drama Dubai together. Um, he teaches workshops. Um, and, uh, and I do the design and film and photography and, and, and everything backstage for him. And up next, we have the day's business news. So stay with us.